Chinese smartphone maker Vivo has officially announced its Vivo S1 mobile in the Indian market. The initial price of Vivo S1 is 17,999 rupees. Vivo S1 features a beautiful design, triple rear camera, 32 megapixel selfie camera, Super AM OLED display along with an in-display fingerprint scan. This is the world's first smartphone to come with Mediatek Helio P65 SoC. Vivo S1 sports a refreshing new dual tone design, with its own take on gradients and patterns, that can be spotted when reflected against the light. The phone is available in diamond black and skyline blue colors, where both of them are unique in their own way. The body is made up of plastic, and the rough edges around the phone can be easily felt. Also, the back isn't smudge proof, so expect unsightly fingerprint marks all over your rear panel. Despite this, the phone is quite comfortable to hold, and is pretty lightweight. Flip the phone to the front, and Vivo has also followed the current bezel-less trend with a small dew drop notch and a slight chin. The volume rocker and the power button are placed on the right side, and there's a dedicated Google Assistant button along with the SIM tray on the left side. The bottom hosts a 3.5mm headphone jack loudspeaker, and a micro USB port, which is a major letdown, since a majority of its competition in this price range has already moved on to USB Type-C. Vivo has managed to fit in a 6.38-inch Halo Full View Super AM OLED display, with 1080x2340 pixels resolution. It also comes with an aspect ratio of 19.5, a screen-to-body ratio of 90%, and a short sensation 3D glass for protection. This is the first time we are hearing of a short sensation 3D glass, since a large majority of the brands are going for the common Corning Gorilla Glass 3. The Halo Full View display offers a solid viewing experience, paired with the mold's deep black and vivid colors. There's a fingerprint sensor that sits beneath the display and works just fine. The colors and contrast of the app icons is quite clear in indoors, with subpar readability under direct sunlight. Vivo comes powered with an octa-core Mediatek Helio P65 SoC, clocked at 2.0 GHz, along with a Mali G52 integrated GPU. Vivo S1 is the first smartphone in India to embody the latest processor offering by Mediatek. Now although Helio P65 is the latest Mediatek silicon, it's definitely not an upgrade over Helio P60 and doesn't offer an overpowering performance peak by any means. First off, the feel of scrolling through the apps isn't silky which shows in the lack of speed with which certain apps open and respond. Also, the device already started to show signs of holdups and lag while multitasking with different apps. You might also need to tap on an app or a feature twice for it to operate. This is quite unpleasant, keeping in mind that Vivo S1 has positioned itself as a mid-range smartphone. Speaking of gaming performance, Vivo S1 comes with an ultra game mode, which is aimed at increasing smooth gameplay and reducing frame drop by 300%. However, we did experience a slight lag while playing heavy duty games like PUBG, even though the game runs by default on a medium graphics setting. In fact, the device also took a slightly longer time to start heavy graphic games, as compared to other smartphones in the same segment. However, you would still be able to have an almost decent gameplay session in case of heavy duty games. Vivo S1 comes powered with 4500 mAh battery and Vivo's own 18 watt dual engine fast charging technology. This is where Vivo scores major points, as the battery life of the phone is truly impressive. The phone manages to go from 0% to 100% in a little over 2 hours, which isn't that bad. Vivo S1 also comes with its own set of power optimization modes, including low power and super power saving mode. Now, coming to the software, Vivo S1 runs on Funtich OS 9, built atop Android 9 Pie, which to say the least looks cluttered, given the heavy bloatware it comes with. Also, there is no app drawer, and so all the apps reside right on the home screen, which is not a pretty view. Swipe down and you'll get a notifications menu, swipe up from the bottom and you'll get a quick settings shortcut center. However, Vivo's Funtich OS does offer customization options, so if you're someone who likes customizing, you'd appreciate the UI a bit more than us. There are a few other options including dark mode and a smart motion option, which offers an air unlock feature that hardly ever works. 
Then there's a smart wake option which does work at times but isn't that responsive. Talking about the audio and speaker quality in Vivo S1, it's pretty good with nothing much to complain about. Also, the phone ships with additional earphones which is great. The facial recognition security option to unlock your phone works as it's intended to accept in low light situations. Vivo S1 features an AI triple camera with 120 degree field of view and a 2 megapixel depth sensor with aperture 2.4. Vivo S1 comes with a 32 megapixel selfie camera. The camera can shoot videos in 1080p, 720p, and 480p. Vivo S1 offers a very subpar camera performance, especially when compared to the stiff competition in the mid range segment. First off, the camera shutter speed is slow because of which you need to be stills when trying to capture a photo or you would get blurry results. The phone also does a poor job of dealing with high contrast scenarios with HDR, where it adds sloppy details and unnatural color to the overall scene, both indoors and outdoors. Bokeh mode and the wide-angle lens work just fine. Camera quality starts to degrade even more, during low-light situations, with patchy details and a hefty amount of noise. Coming down to the performance of the selfie camera, the images click manage to maintain the balance between the contrast and exposure, however, they also are limited in detail. In all, we weren't satisfied with the camera performance on Vivo S1 and expected more. What we do like about the camera in Vivo S1, is the app that offers a slew of modes including Doc Pro, Pano, AI Beauty, Photo, Video, Fun Video and AR Stickers. AR stickers mode is a nice fun feature, but doesn't work offline. Another fun feature is the fun video mode, which lets you add music and text to the video, while the AI beauty mode works just fine. Vivo S1 comes with a lot of merits including superior display, powerful battery life and an absolutely stunning design. However, the phone is marred by its average camera, frustrating software and an average performance. Given that, Vivo S1 has a stance as a mid-range smartphone in the market and is known for its selfie cameras, we expected a stronger set of features from the phone.